Hello, music theory students. In this video, I am talking about the ascending 5-6 sequence, the third of the three harmonic sequences uh, introduced and discussed in more detail in the Harmony Through Melody textbook. Read that so you know all of the details. I'm only kind of giving you brief outlines of all of this in these short videos. The ascending 5-6 sequence, the only sequence that goes up instead of down. So the outline of the ascending 5-6 sequence moves up by step from scale degree 1 to scale degree 4 or from the tonic triad to the subdominant triad. Okay, so that's the outline of this ascending 5-6 sequence. So downbeat to downbeat it moves up. Oops. The first po possible elaboration is to get to the root of the chord that's allowed in the in the middle is a double skip so we move down a third and then up a fourth okay so this is our double skip okay and that again we can use a triad okay on this is leaping down to a six chord so you can either use a triad or you can use again a seventh chord in that double skip elaboration the second is to do a repetition of that note. So we start with a root position tonic triad, and then we go to a first inversion um, triad or seventh. Of course, the root of this would be A. We're in C major, so this would go to the, to the relative minor or to A minor or to the sixth chord. And then that pattern, of course, repeats three times to create the sequence. Um, I'm going to talk about this this time. This is the most important elaboration. This is this is the this is the way that it's used more often than not, and that's why we call it the ascending five six. The five six is recur, recur, uh, is referring to the five three chord on the on the first beat, that then goes to a six three or a six five chord on the weak beat. Okay, so ascending five six, ascending going up and five six so it that is with that repetition and this is really lovely because the bass can just hold a note and all the other voices can move or can just repeat a note the bass can repeat a note and all the other voices move to the other chord tones of that weak beat chord okay so that's the ascending five six the two possibilities so again the first one and the second one, if we want to look at the chords that the way that the chords move through this one is we go from a tonic in major or minor. Again, all of these can be in major or minor. Then we go to the six or the submedian. Then we go to the supertonic. Then we go to the seven. In this case, again, in major, that's going to be diminished. And so that'll be either a diminished five, three or a half diminished seven if we're in major. Both of those again allowed. Again, you can have a seven diminished on uh, as the fourth chord in this. Uh, and then we go to the median in major, that's minor. In a major key, the median is minor. Uh, and then we go to the one chord. Again, we could have a one seven. Okay, and this is why in the Horton Ritchie we don't we don't name these because they don't really have a function. It's just a way of moving through a pattern to get to where we're going. In this case, we're going to end up with the four um, triad, okay, which then sets up our cadence. So this is our pre-cadential dominant chord. Uh, we go to a five chord in root position one and we get our, our perfect authentic cadence there. So this is how you're going to do your assignments, uh, the short five measure assignment. Okay, so to sum all of this up here, um, then we end up here, uh, again, our baseline is an ascending, uh, if you want to do the most common elaboration, then you go to that first inversion. Of course, you can always decorate this. You could do a double skip up there, uh, right? So you can decorate between these two in the base. That's very common. Okay, and again, this shows you how we move through and how the baseline, the baseline, you're basically now you know all your chords that you're going to have to be using um, because your baseline with the figure base tells you this exactly how, um, how the 5 6 sequence works. Okay, so um, here is a uh, example from the literature. In this one, this is from Vivaldi, The Four Seasons. Notice that the sequence is not happening downbeat to downbeat, it's from strong beat to less strong beat, right? So our patterns, there's the first statement, here's the second statement, 
and here's the third statement and then it moves it moves on after that. Um, this is a, a really poor finale version again and I've converted, this is a violin solo part on the top and this is the rest of the orchestra that should be strings. I've just done it with piano and violin in a poor MIDI uh, example of this. Um, but it, you can hear the sequence from this, so here we go. So really nice movement up. And that's your ascending 5-6 sequence, how you set up the bass line.